I'm Andy Fisher, WNEW News. At eight minutes past ten, time for the Sears Radio Theater. Sears Radio Theater, a new adventure in radio listening. Five nights of exceptional entertainment every week, brought to you in Elliot Lewis production of the Sears Radio Theater. Our story, Miniatures, by Ken Gerard. Our stars, Paula Winslow and Vic Perrin. The Sears Radio Theater is brought to you by Sears Roebuck and Company. Sears, where America shops for value. Sears National Automotive Sale. Now, save 36 to $76 on a set of four Sears steel-belted radial tires. That's great savings on the most popular radial in Sears history. And the Sears heavy-duty shock can help save you from some of the jolts, jars, and jerks. Help save you some money, too. On sale now, only $5.99 each. Save 14% on America's best-selling shock. Installation available at most Sears tire and auto centers. Prices may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. Stop at Sears. I've been working with furniture for 25 years, so I know about quality. And that's why I recommend a Sears Benchmade sofa for your family. There's a heavy-duty hardwood frame braced to withstand stress. The coil spring construction gives long-lasting comfort. And you can choose from fabrics and attractive solids or bright prints, all treated with Scotchgard brand fabric protector. Compare the quality of a Sears Benchmade with other fine sofas, and you'll be surprised. Styling, durability, and comfort. Benchmade, a great place to relax. Now at most Sears retail stores. This is my first night camping with my family of five. Now I'm really glad I packed my Sears family-style tent. It's Sears' best tent, tested by Sir Edmund Hillary, the first man to conquer Mount Everest. This tent stands six feet nine inches in the center and has a sewn-in ten-by-fourteen-foot floor. It sleeps eight, plenty of room for my family, and even the dog. We like the windows that can be zipped shut from the inside and this large front canopy. Sears' best family-style tent is built to be lived in, and if it's good enough for Hillary, it's good enough for my family at most larger Sears retail stores. A valuable doll collection, a poodle, a wealthy matriarch, and a tardy grandson. Hardly the elements for a mystery. However, we shall see. Oh, finally. That must be Claude. Oh, get it, Brayshaw. Let him in. Hello, Anna. How's Zuzu today? Fine. Your grandmother's in the salon. Oh. Good afternoon, grandmother. Oh. Exactly 35 minutes late. Really? I must be slipping. I should have kept you waiting an hour. I'm not amused. You've no sense of respect. Brayshaw's always punctual. That's because she needs your money. And you don't, my pet? <sighs> Should I ring for our tea? No. We'll wait until Dr. Harkness arrives. I didn't know he was going to be with us. Oh, you're disappointed. Why should I be? Well, it might interfere with our little tete-a-tete. -tete. You see, Brayshaw, Claude only comes to see me when he needs some extra money. Isn't that right, dear? No, that is not correct. Oh, but it is. One of the reasons he needs funds is, uh, well, his friend has expensive tastes. Uh, what's her name? Uh, Jean? Mm. Jane? You know it's Jen. Oh, oh, of course. Yeah, uh, sorry. Jen. Uh, strange name. Sounds foreign. She's Swedish. Oh, yes. Yes, I forgot. I had a Swedish maid once, very clean, but she became pregnant. I had to dismiss her. Oh, pity. Now, that was unkind. Change that tone of voice, young man. Never tell me what I should say, understand? Yes. Sorry. Again? Louder. Sorry. Sorry. You know, Brayshaw, I control the purse strings. I administer Claude's trust fund, and therefore he must stay in my good graces, or uh, I can cut his allowance off like that. Isn't that right, dear? Yes. Of course it is. Oh, I allow him to have his squalid little liaison, cover his gambling losses, often lend him money. Uh, keeping up appearances is so expensive these days, isn't it, Claude? Must you discuss my private life? Claude's waiting for me to die, to inherit my fortune and this estate. Of course, my doll collection. However... He might have an unpleasant surprise. Please, Grandmother. Mrs. Winston, I'd prefer not Be to... still, girl. Yes, a shock. 
I could cut him out of my will. I might leave all my money to Zuzu and the dolls to a museum. Oh, you wouldn't. Why not? Only Zuzu loves me. Yes, come here, my darling girl. Yes, come to mommy. <coughs> oh, what a good girl. Yes, yes. Would you like to be a millionaire, Zuzu? Yes, of course you would. And since my grandson misbehaves, maybe I'll just leave everything I own to you. <coughs> Eastern, Central, or Pacific time, Mother's Day is an important time. Remember Mom with a timely example of sophisticated design. A Seiko watch from Sears. Seiko has a reputation you can count on in styles that range from sporty with leather wristbands to elegant bracelet watches in white or yellow gold color cases. Choose Mom's precision-made Seiko with 17 jewel or quartz movements from Sears. But hurry, Mother's Day is coming May 13th. I know. We'll give Mom a Sears Best food processor with attachments. Oh, sure, money bags. Listen, Sears chopped $10 off, so it's only $49.99. Huh. Three of us could buy it. But would Mom like a Sears food processor? Sure. Complete with four attachments, it can quickly knead bread, chopped meat, shred cheese, puree tomatoes. Hey, pizza! <laughs> Sears Best food processor, only $49.99. Save $10 till May 26th. Prices and dates may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. On Mother's Day, my family treats me like a very special person. And this year, I'll look as special as I feel in one of my new pleated polyester sheer outfits from Sears. Because the values at Sears were great, I bought myself both a dress and a skirt set. Besides, I couldn't resist the comfort of their lightweight sheer fabric. And the gentle pleated styling is so fashionable. This Mother's Day, I'll look as special as I feel in either one of my brand new pleated polyester sheer outfits from Sears Dress Department. All items available at most larger Sears retail stores. Well, Claude, what do you think? Shall I leave everything I own to Zuzu? Would that disappoint you? Oh, that must be Dr. Hartness, always on time. I get it. That whole conversation was unneeded. You didn't have to humiliate me in front of that woman. Remember, I control your fortunes. You'll do as I say. Come when I want. And... Oh! Oh, Dr. Harkness. Thank goodness you're here. Oh, I've been in such pain. I can barely sleep. Poor Matilda. <laughs> mm. Hello, Claude. Nice to see you, my boy. Doctor? What's wrong with our star patient? Oh, I've been feeling weak. My strength is ebbing. Well, let's check your pulse. Well, hello, Zuzu. Don't you look beautiful? <coughs> I see you've done your usual perfect job, Miss Brayshaw. Thank you, Doctor. She has not. She pinched my angel skin twice. Hmm. Well, your pulse is like a woman of 20. Matilda, you're as healthy as a horse. Oh, you treat my condition too lightly. <laughs> Dear lady, I'm sure you'll outlive all of us. I'm planning to. Oh, uh, get the tea for us like a good girl, Brayshaw. Yes, ma'am. I had some unpleasantness while I was on vacation. Oh? Yes. Someone broke into my townhouse and stole some miniatures. Well, that's terrible. Do the police have any clues? Not a one. It's baffling. They didn't take any of my silver or television sets, not even my coin collection. The detectives feel it's, uh... Oh, here's our tea. Oh, set it there, Brayshaw. The only items missing were a set of miniature surgical instruments. You know, the ones I bought through your dealer friend, uh, what's his name? Uh, Jacques Rousseau. Yes, yes. They're irreplaceable. Solid silver. A gift from Louis XV to his personal physician. Ah, uh, can never be replaced. Hmm. How much are they worth? Ten thousand dollars, maybe more in today's market. Who knows? Oh, strange. Mrs. Van Allen was robbed over the weekend. Oh, oh, yes. Shocking. She went to the country, came home, and discovered her entire collection of Battersea snuff boxes were missing. That must have set her back a pretty penny. Oh, indeed. Over twenty thousand dollars. I wonder if she bought any of them from Rousseau. Why, certainly she did. He was her agent. May I go now, Mrs. Winston? Uh, uh, yeah, yes, you may be excused. Uh, your check will be sent. Uh, 
Brayshaw, don't you groom Mrs. Van Allen's poodle? Yes. And mine, too. I boarded her with Miss Brayshaw while I was on holiday. Well, it appears we have another suspect. Who? Miss Brayshaw. She knew when you and Mrs. Van Allen would be away. Getting into your homes would be simple. Oh, now, that's a nasty insinuation. You owe her an apology. Oh, it's all right. I'm sure he was only joking. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> Will next Thursday be suitable for you, Mrs. Winston? After what you did to my Zuzu today? Well, I, I don't know. I, I'll think about it. If, uh, if I want your services again, my housekeeper will call you. Good afternoon, Brayshaw. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, thank you. Uh, bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, Matilde. Matilde, you shouldn't be so hard on that poor woman. She means well. Oh, I pay her handsomely for her time. Besides, she used my name enough to increase her business. She should groom and bathe Zuzu for free after all I've done for her. Oh, come, come. Let's not thrash Miss Brayshaw around. She's so harmless. Frankly, I'm more concerned about all those robberies. Your doll collection could be next. Oh, well, I don't intend leaving this house. Vacations are for people who are bored with life. I can stay here and be surrounded by my collection. Bisque dolls, wax dolls, fashion dolls, brie, kessners. Oh, I never tire of being with them. But you need extra security. What about a patrol? That's a needless expense. You can't trust them anyhow. Well, then some additional bolts and locks on the doors and windows. Yes, the French doors leading to the sunroom should be reinforced. Hmm. Well, perhaps you're right. Uh, uh, Claude, uh, buy some chain locks. Uh, go to a discount store. Uh, my housekeeper will install them. Matilda, don't be so frugal. Purchase some substantial security devices, like an electronic system that hooks up with the police department. Oh, that's a good thought. Why don't we get some estimates? Well, both of you are quite free with my money. Claude, just do as I instructed. That will be quite sufficient. Oh, three already. I must be going. Oh, uh, you took your watch cane out of the vault again. Oh, yes, I missed seeing it. <laughs> Wouldn't a museum like to get their hands on this? Naturally, it's the only one of its kind. Good taste endures, Doctor. An ivory walking cane with a miniature clock in its handle. A masterpiece. Of course. Made by Thomas Mudge and Company in 1751 for the King of Spain. Well, I'm off. Take care, Matilda. I'll call you in the morning. Oh, that's all right, Claude. I know my way out. That's a pity he was robbed. Serves him right for taking a vacation. Brought it on himself, foolish old man. Now, he doesn't deserve that kind of comment. Are you telling me how to think? I merely Never meant... Never contradict me. The doctor's a tedious old fool who's made a living please, on... Please, the... please, I can't bear to hear another one of your tirades. Well, then, don't honor me with your presence. I, uh... I suppose you're here for something else. More money. Yes... I can't make ends meet this month. The, the funds I receive from the trust, it, well, $2,000 a month isn't sufficient. Oh? I'm behind in some bills. It, nothing major. The tailor, the yacht club, a few other odds and ends. I'm just a little overextended. Liar! You've been gambling again, haven't you? Answer me. Yes. Yes, I have. I need... I need $10,000. Oh, disgusting... Just like your father. Spendthrift, wastrel. Neither of you could handle money. And I was fool enough to bail him out each time. His antics killed your grandfather. I need your help. This is the last time. Oh, no, I've heard that before. Please take it out of my trust fund, anything. Oh, all right, all right. Get my checkbook from the desk. <sighs> well, let me see. Uh, well, there. Now, it's all I can afford right now. But, but this is only $1,000. Well, I'm a little short this month, too. Damn you! <gasps> Damn you! Well, Zuzu, our little playboy has a temper. We'll show him, won't we, my precious...
Uh, hello. I want to speak to Mr. Swain, please. Uh, no, no. Uh, Mr. Swain, senior. Uh, this is Matilda Winston speaking. Uh, yeah, put me through at once. Oh, hello, Thomas. Uh, yes, 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 I'm fine. I didn't call to socialize. I want you to handle a matter for me. I'm going to change my will again. I want to leave the bulk of my estate to Zuzu. Yes, thank you, Thomas. Have the papers here by Thursday for my signature. Goodbye. <laughs> Sears Radio Theater will continue after this message from your local station. Here's a tip from your Better Business Bureau. Are you looking for a nursing home? Well, here are a few tips. Start by getting a list of the licensed facilities in your area from your local health department. Find out whether they are certified to receive Medicare and Medicaid payments. Also, talk to your friends and talk to your neighbors who've placed a family member in a home. You see, it's important to visit a nursing home to check the facilities and the services. For example, food handling, patient care, in-service staff training, housekeeping, and patient activities. Now, before you sign an admission agreement, you read it carefully, including the fine print and ask a lot of questions about what's included in the price. A number of nursing homes charge extra for such items as wheelchairs, air mattresses, and personal laundry. A tip from your Better Business Bureau. If I want to make sure I buy the right thing, then I look at a magazine. I look at the consumer magazine. I do a lot of price comparing before I buy. Well, if I'm thinking of buying a certain refrigerator or air conditioner, I ask around. I see what experiences people I know have had with that manufacturer. I found it best to check with my friends who have the product I want to buy. When I have to make a decision between two items, I just toss the coin. I just let my wife decide. I always buy things on Wednesday. I think that's my lucky day. <laughs> people have lots of ways to buy things. Some are good and some are not so good. But one way that really helps is to read and compare warranties just as you would price or quality. The law says on purchases of $15 or more, warranties must be available for you to see before you buy. You'll find that some are full and some are limited, so compare. A tip from the Federal Trade Commission. It's good to read warranties before you buy. And don't be bashful because it's your money. It seems that Matilda Winston wants to be entombed with her dolls. Perhaps she'll get her wish, but possibly earlier than she imagines. Claude? Is that you? Of course. Did you get it? Did you get it? No. No? You came back here empty-handed? She gave me a thousand. A thousand? I told you to ask for ten thousand. Well, next time you ask her, you grovel at her feet. Uh, be insulted in front of strangers. Let's see how you do. Probably better than you. I'm not afraid of her. Well, a thousand is better than nothing. A thousand is nothing. Oh, you undoubtedly said thank you, Granny, and kissed the old witch. That's enough. Oh, get angry with me. Oh, certainly it's my fault. <sighs> I need a drink. Yes, oh, poor dear. Drown your sorrow in vodka. <laughs> Maybe you'll find your backbone there, too. Shut up, Jen. We need that money. How do you expect us to get married without something in the bank? Your income is barely sufficient. A thousand won't even buy my gown. You did tell her we're getting married, didn't you? Claude? No, I didn't. Coward. I knew you hadn't the courage to tell her. I didn't have a chance to see her alone. Oh, that woman, she dangles you like a puppet. Well, you know my hands are tied. She controls the trust fund. I can't get the principal until she dies, or any of her assets either. Oh, why don't you smash one of her precious dolls in front of her? <laughs> if we're lucky, maybe she'll drop dead from the shock. I never knew you were so cold-blooded. Oh, I'm doing this for, not for myself. I don't enjoy seeing you belittled or manipulated by that hideous woman. Oh, Claude, as long as, as she's alive, you'll be at her mercy. Would you uh, suggest that maybe I murder her? Hello? Uh, this 
is Mrs. Winston. Is my grandson there? Yes, I will get him. It's Granny for you. Mm. Hello? Was that your little Swedish maid? Yes. Does she do windows? What is it, Grandmother? Brayshaw took Zuzu's brush by accident. Get it for me like a good boy. We are joking. No. Bring it here. Then we can continue our discussion about the $10,000. Uh, perhaps I was too harsh on you. All right. I'll be there in an hour. I thought you would. You're going back to that house? She wants to give me the money. And what will you have to do for it? Play with Zuzu? Shut up! I'll get your damn money, the whole 10000 Now climb off my back. Brayshaw? Hello? Hmm? Maybe she's in her apartment in the back. Anna? It's Claude Winston. I'm here for Zuzu's brush. <laughs> Isn't this a surprise? It's quite a nice apartment. Tastefully done. The grooming business must be all right. Well, well, our mousy Miss Brayshaw has another side. Oh, I didn't know anyone was here. I gather. Uh, your grandmother called. I have Zuzu's brush. I never realized you had such good taste in furniture. Yeah, well, most of these pieces are secondhand. Really? Let me get the brush. That's uh, an interesting vase. Meissen? Uh, no, it's a reproduction. <laughs> it's a damn good copy. Please don't handle it. This isn't a reproduction. I know those markings. I'm quite busy. Do you mind leaving? You must do quite well. It... Oh, what's this? Battersea snuff boxes? Would you go... On loan from Mrs. Van Allen? No. Claude, get out. Claude? My, aren't the servants getting familiar? Not only do they steal, but... But... Well, miniature surgical instruments... Let me think. Where did I see them last? Oh, right now you know. What are you going to do? I, I don't know. I, I, I'm amazed and pleased. Bravo, Anna. What a wonderful scheme. It's brilliant. You have access to some of the finest homes. You know when they'll be empty. You can be selective about what you steal. Ingenious. What do you want? Limoges figurines, the enameled watches, the jade miniatures. Take anything. How many homes have you, uh, as the saying goes, ripped off? Ten, twelve. And why haven't you taken anything from my darling granny? She never leaves the house. Ah, ah, I understand. But uh, I'm certain you would love one of her dolls, a jumeau, perhaps? Of course. No one should own so many priceless dolls. It disgusts me. She sits there day after day playing with them, talking to them. I could... You could what? <sighs> Nothing. <laughs> you could kill her, isn't that it? What are you going to do? Call the police? Mm. Possibly. I'll give you everything. You can take the whole lot. Oh, don't underestimate me. I'm not a fool. None of these collections can be sold without alerting the police. My dear, those charming items are, are hot. I have some money. You can have it all. About $500. Claude, what do you want? I'll sleep on it. Perhaps something will come to me. Hmm? You're not? going to call the police? Well, no, not yet. Perhaps you'll grant me a favor in the future, some some small service in exchange for my silence. But who can forecast what tomorrow will bring? Now, get that disgusting mutt's brush. I can't keep my charming grandmother waiting. Vincent, it's your star patient. Matilda, anything wrong? Oh, no, no, it's nothing serious. You sure? Too minor for you to bother about. No, no, I'll, I'll come over. Not necessary. I'll get through the night. I'd better have another look at you. 
be right there. No, no. Just knowing that you're on call again is the best tonic. I'll be there in ten minutes. Oh, get that, Mrs. Kramer. It must be Claude with Zuzu's brush. Ah, nice to see you, Mrs. Kramer. Ah, it's he, finally. Um, why don't you visit me tomorrow evening, about eight... Uh, perhaps we can chat about donating some of my dolls to the museum. You're considering the proposal? Well, it could have some merit. Wonderful. I'll be there at eight. See you then. Bye-bye. Are you uh, serious about the museum? I don't believe that's any of your concern. Where's Zuzu's brush? Oh, uh, here. Thank you. Well, that will be all. All? I thought we were going to discuss my money. No, you want to discuss my money, and if you can have any of it. I don't want to talk about it. I'm much too fatigued. Oh, thank you for the brush. Oh, damn it, I am not a delivery boy. Oh, temper, temper. You are what I want you to be. Even Zuzu obeys my commands better than you. I'm not a trained dog. Well, you should be, all of you. I throw the bone, you run and fetch. Your tidbit is cash, and Dr. Hotness is the museum. Only my darling Zuzu is faithful. And for that, she will be rewarded handsomely. Which means... I've asked Mr. Swain Sr., my attorney, to revise my will. I have named Zuzu as my heir. You get only a fraction of what you expect, and it will be placed in a trust. The lawyers will handle it until you're 60. I don't believe it. But it's true. Mr. Swain's coming here Thursday with the papers. You've cut me out of your will for, for that nut? As of Thursday, yes. Now, that'll be all, Claude. You may return to your little milkmaid. You're out of the will? Oh, that woman. I could kill her. Kill her! Her dolls may go to the museum. Dolls? Dolls? You're worried about her filthy play toys and she's disinherited you? Not altogether. I'll, I'll get something. Something? But if you were her sole heir, how much would you get? Mm, six, maybe seven million. You're about to lose millions and you sit there so calmly? Oh, do something. Stop her. I'm planning to. Oh, I doubt it. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. no. <gasps> now, shut up. <gasps> Why don't you hit her? She's I real. told you to be quiet. <gasps> It's better. I have to think this through. What? We've got today and tomorrow before she signs a new will. It has to be Wednesday. It's difficult. It must look like an intruder. Harkness will be there tomorrow night. However, he can be used. Yes, definitely. He can be part of it. Jen, get me a vodka. I have to plan it carefully. What are you planning? Oh... I'm just planning how Anna will murder Grandmother. Super Plus. Wrap yourself in the luxury of Sears. Super Plus. Bath towels. Just one touch will tell you they're super thick and luxurious. With more combed cotton terry loops per square inch than any other towel we sell. Each towel weighs over a pound. They're Sears' largest terry bath towels. Super thick and absorbent. No wonder they're called Super Plus. Available now in brilliant solids or patterns. Separate the blaze with color fireworks. Yet made of 100% cotton point tail knit to keep you cool and comfortable all summer. And just because they're natural doesn't mean they're neutral. Discover a gently gathered skirt, a cap sleeve shirt, a tank top, all bursting in colors, just waiting to be mixed or matched. For a day in the sunshine or a night under the stars, color fireworks is what's happening in Mrs. Pointel Separates. Your mom. By nature, she's different than any other mother in the world. Whether she's social, romantic, offbeat, or as classic as apple pie, you'll find a special fragrance to fit her nature at Sears. For Mother's Day, choose Revlon's Charlie for the contemporary woman on the run. Chantou, the essence of ever-so-soft romance. Or Prince Machiavelli favorites like Windsong, Aviance, or Cachet. This Mother's Day, discover gifts of fragrance that capture the nature of every woman at Sears. All items available at most larger Sears retail stores. Uh...
Vincent Price again, and here's the concluding act of Miniatures. Hello, Anna. I see you're in front today. What are you doing? Just uh, turning your sign to closed. I don't want to be alone with you. Pity. I thought we were going to be such good friends. I have an assignment for you. An assignment? Yes. I want you to steal some of my grandmother's dolls. What? As many as you like. Wouldn't you want to own a jumeau or a bru? You can take your pick. You're crazy. Hardly. I want you to do it tonight while she's dining at Dr. Harkness' home. This is a trap. Not at all. It's payment. You deserve something for all the times you've been insulted, all the belittling. Call it reparations. I don't trust you. Anna, I'd do anything to hurt that old witch. I hate her. You know how she ridicules me. Yes. She regards you as her errand boy. Do you like being treated like a serf? Being called Brayshaw? Aren't you waiting to get even? To steal one of her precious girls? Yes, I despise that greedy old woman. But... But what? Here's your chance. The house will be empty tonight. I'm taking her to Dr. Harkness' house at 7, and we won't be back until 8.30. And the housekeeper? Thursday is her day off. Sounds too easy. It is. You can make your entry through the French doors. Mrs. Kramer hasn't put the new locks on yet. No, I don't want to. Yes, Anna. You'll do it. I won't. You have no choice. Rob dear Granny's home tonight, or... Or what? Or I'll call the police. There are enough stolen items in your apartment to put you away for a long time. I'll do it. Thank you. Remember, through the French doors, Anna, between 7.30 and 8, no later. Take whatever you want. Bye-bye. Coming, I'm coming. Why do people need a day off? Uh, who is it? It's Clark. Oh, just a moment. Let me undo these locks. Uh, there. Well, don't stand there like a fool. Come in. <sighs> Took you long enough to get here. Oh, the traffic was awful. Well, boy, give it to me. Oh. Damn, I left it there. You forgot Zuzu's collar. I sent you... Oh, you're an idiot. Oh, never mind. I'll call her to bring it over. No, no, don't. I, I, I'll get it. You can't be trusted to do anything. I'll call her. What? What, what are you doing? Don't call her. I beg your pardon? Don't you tell me what to do. Shut up, you old hag. <gasps> How dare... You, you be still. You've given me orders for the last time. What? Sit down, you repulsive crone. Oh, oh how I hate you. Do you realize what you're saying? <laughs> of course I do. I should have said it years ago. You may leave, Claude. I've had enough of this conversation. Oh, enough? I've had enough of you. Of your cruelty, of, of, of your mutt of these disgusting dolls. Oh! Are you crazy? Killing, what are you doing? I'm killing one of your girls. Oh, oh, stop it! Stop it! Oh, oh, I'm calling the police! No, you don't. I'll take this, too. Oh, give, give me that cane! How much is this worth? Five thousand dollars? Oh, no, you've destroyed it! <laughs> and my dolls, my beautiful baby. Oh, pity. Were they valuable? <gasps> I'll never forgive you for this. My, my, you're going to cut me out of the will, huh? Indeed. <laughs> That's if you can sign it. Keep, keep away from me. No. No, I, I want to be near you. No, 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 don't touch me. Uh, take your hands off me. Oh, oh you're, you're joking me. Sorry, dear. Oh, no, no. I'm going to squeeze the meanness out of you. 
Kater! Kater! Die, you old witch! Die! I hope you burn in hell. Jen? Huh, I'm at the club. I may play some squash. You know, I, I, I'll have dinner here. I'm expected at grandmother's about eight. Uh, well, certainly. Everything's fine. Uh, what time is it? About 2.15. Huh? Thanks. See you later. After this awful tragedy has been discovered. Where is she? It's almost a quarter of eight. Damn it, she better come. Ha. Finally. Good evening, Anna. Oh, turn off those lights. Someone will see us. No one will see us. We're alone. I just want to take one doll and leave. Fine. Of course. Help yourself. Ah! Oh, Miss Winston. <laughs> oh, no. She's dead. <laughs> yes. Pity. Hmm? You killed her. I'm getting out of here. You stay here, Anna. I don't want to get involved. But you are. I caught you leaving the scene. The lights were out. I shouted for you to stop. You didn't, and I shot you. And then I found my poor, poor grandma. You'll never get away with it. But I will. And now... Please don't kill me. <laughs> it's only a joke. It wasn't loaded. Oh, sorry. You didn't like my little prank, hmm? Here. Here, soothe yourself with a few dolls. Gifts from my grandmother. I don't want any. I only want to go. Yes. You can go. It's the girl. Go on. That's right. Through the French doors again. Bye-bye, Anna. <laughs> Pity. <laughs> Operator, give me the police. I want to report a murder. This this is Claude Winston. Come at once. It's it's horrible. She's murdered my my grandmother. Oh, it, it, it's terrible. I caught her leaving the house. I had to shoot it. What? Oh, oh, the the address, uh, 219 Marbury. Uh, no, 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 I won't touch anything. Come quickly. Yeah. Yes, come quickly. I want the estate to go right to probate. Hmm. I wonder how much I can really get for these dolls. Oh, wonderful. It must be Harkness. He's the last part of my plan. Help! 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 What's the matter? Oh, oh, oh doctor. Over there. Matilda? Yes. yes. Oh, my lord. Oh, poor thing. What happened here? There are dolls strewn all over. There. There. Near the French doors. Brief. Yeah. I, I don't understand. I, I I shot her. I came into the house. The front door was ajar. I, I, I saw her strangled by grandmother. Oh, no. I, I told her to stop. But she ran. And I fired. Take it easy. Easy, hey. Claude. I'm going to call the police. I, I already... I already have. They're coming. That's all right. Have a good cry. Do, do you... I think they'll do anything to me. I, I mean, I, I, I killed Brayshaw. Oh, if only I'd gotten here sooner. Now, now, don't worry. 
You acted instinctively. <laughs> Matilda should have listened to you. You begged her to have more security. <laughs> it just seems so senseless. Was Anna trying to rob her? Did, did she kill her for those those dogs? Now, don't worry about that. The police will sort her motives out later. Perhaps you were right. About what? About Anna being a thief. Remember my collection and Mrs. Van Allen's snuff boxes? We'll see. Oh, poor grandmother... Doctor, the, the whole scene was just horrible. Anna holding her by the throat. Yes, he's crying. <laughs> I know this has been a terrible shock. <laughs> sit there, sit there. I want to cover Matilda's body with my coat. Oh, my. Oh. Even her ivory cane broken. Oh, how she loved it. Oh. That's odd. What? The miniature clock. You know, on the handle of the cane. The crystal smashed. It stopped running. It's eight o'clock, but the hands of the clock are jammed at 2.10. But you said... And her body is cool. Strange. How very strange... You know, Claude, perhaps there's more to this than I imagined. Sears National Automotive Sale. Now, save $36 to $76 on a set of four Sears steel-belted radial tires. That's great savings on the most popular radial in Sears history. And the Sears heavy-duty shock can help save you from some of the jolts, jars, and jerks. Help save you some money, too. On sale now, only $5.99 each. Save 14% on America's best-selling shock. Installation available at most Sears tire and auto centers. Prices may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. Stop at Sears. And she leaps ahead wearing Sears Action Playwear for juniors. They're saucy yellow bibbed overalls with a striped tank top underneath. What a look! But wait, another girl in bright blue pleated shorts and rugby-style shirt hops up from behind. Ladies and gentlemen, who win this leapfrog race? Both look like winners in these cool cotton tops and bottoms of cotton and polyester. All bright summer wow colors. And they're, they're tied! Sears Junior Action Playwear for championship looks. For Mother's Day, give Mom a hand. Yeah! With handy appliances from Sears. Prices have been cut on Sears' best food processor. 14-speed blender with jars. And a push-button self-cleaning broiler oven. Save money and she'll save time on ironing day with a spray steam-and-dry self-cleaning iron. So give Mom a helping hand on Mother's Day. And save at Sears. Yeah! Sale ends May 26th. Dates may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. Available at most larger Sears retail stores. The Sears Radio Theater has been brought to you by Sears Roebuck and Company, where our policy is satisfaction guaranteed or your money back. Sears, where America shops for value. Miniatures was written by Ken Gerard, produced and directed by Elliot Lewis. Your host was Vincent Price. Our stars were Paula Winslow and Vic Perrin. Also heard were Stan Waxman, Gladys Holland, Mary Jane Croft, and Vance Colby. The music for Sears Radio Theater was composed and conducted by Nelson Riddle. This is Art Gilmore speaking. The Elliot Lewis production of Sears Radio Theater is a presentation of CBI. up and down your spine. There's a creeping sensation at the back of your neck. You're listening to CBS Radio Mystery Theater. I'm E.G. Marshall, your host for these hour-long dramas of suspense, adventure, and the macabre. Heard seven times a week on most of these stations. Here's a sample of what we mean. Quiet, man. Listen, and you'll hear it. I don't hear anything. It came from the bow, a cane and the sobbing of a little child. And then it changed as I went forward to look. I swear it came aboard and... And went down. Down below. I was...
was afraid, but I followed it. Oh, Doctor, I tell you, it went right into the captain's cabin. Listen here for CBS Radio Mystery Theater seven times a week on most of these CBS Radio Network stations. Business as usual. I was leaning against a phone booth on the Lower East Side, waiting for a call that would guarantee my next meal. Little did I know my next job would arrive on foot. I'm Sam Hart. A few minutes later, some guy staggers up. Hey, mister, can you give me a hand? Feels like my chest is about to cave in. He was sweating, breathing heavily and clutching his chest. I reached for the phone. I knew I'd come face to face with a big one. Again? Yeah, let's see. Nine, one, one. Emergency medical service. Got a possible heart attack. I need an ambulance here on the double. Another day, another job. Another round of the big ones. Seems like they're trying to knock off every other guy I see. Do you know the signals of a heart attack? If not, remember this. Sweating, nausea, shortness of breath, a pain in the center of your chest that may last two minutes or more. If you have any of these signals, call the emergency medical service immediately. Contact your American Heart Association for more information. They're fighting for your life. Sears Radio Theater will be a story of love and hate with Cicely Tyson as your hostess. Let's listen. I'm certain, Grandmother. Grandmother. Oh, I love hearing you say it. It means that I'm something to someone. Finally, after all these years, there's a human link in my life. I'm not alone anymore. So be sure and tune in tomorrow to the Sears Radio Theater.